hello. So this is going to be a session looking at how you can support your year 11 children to revise effectively throughout year 11 and for their examinations at the end of the year. Year 11 students have had a range of revision sessions throughout year 9 and 10 uh, during mentor time looking at uh, how to organise their revision, the sort of revision activities they can do and how to ensure that their revision is as effective as possible. And we thought it would be really useful to share this with you as parents so that you've also got um, an understanding of the best way to revise. So there are four key things that students really need to keep in mind when revising. So the idea of no distractions, using the Pomodoro technique, uh, and then ensuring that their practice is both spaced and that it's retrieval. And I'm going to look into these four things throughout this short video. So the first thing that's really, really key uh, when students are revising is to ensure that they are they are revising with no distractions whatsoever. A lot of students say that they like listening to music when they revise and they, they find it helps them to focus. But actually, there's been a lot of research done into this and shows that this isn't the case at all. So it's really important that students try to have a sort of dedicated revision space that could be in their bedroom, it could be in another room in the house, but that when they sit down to revise, it's a really focused space. So they shouldn't be listening to music, they should have their phone off or at least on airplane mode to make sure that their revision is as effective as possible. The second thing is to try and use the Pomodoro technique. So that's the idea of having, of using a timer. Um, and breaking revision down into sort of smaller chunks. The optimum amount of time that a student should be revising for at any one time is 25 minutes. If, uh, if you revise for longer than that, often focus goes and it's not as focused and effective as it could be. So I would recommend that students decide what it is that they're going to be working on in that revision session and then set a timer for 25 minutes. That can just be an old fashioned timer or it could be on their phones as long as the rest of their phone is on airplane mode. They should then work for that section of 25 minutes. And then once that timer goes off, walk away from their revision space. So go and take a take five minute break um, away from where they've been revising. If they are completing a number of revisions of sessions or revision chunks within a day, um, maybe at the weekend or in the build up to the practice exams or the real exams, it's really important that after every fourth revision session, they take a much longer break, a sort of 15 to 30 minutes. And that really means that the they're gonna, their brains are going to have time to actually process the information rather than it becoming overloaded. The third thing that's really, really crucial um, to make sure that revision is as effective as possible is to ensure that practice is spaced. So again, this is all based on research. Students, when they initially start learning information can generally recall a, a large amount of it. But over a period of time, as you can see from this graph, the amount of information that they can recall reduces dramatically. If students keep coming back to information, they keep kind of building in a revisiting cycle. It means that actually over a period of time that they are able to recall much more. And this should suggest that cramming in the days before an exam is much less effective than going over material repeatedly at various points during a term. So students should try to make sure that when they first learn information, they don't just think that that's going to stay in, stay in their in their memory. What they need to do is they need to come back to it kind of repeatedly over a period of time. Now, this is something that as a school, we've uh, had a big focus on over the last few years. And this act, this happens within lessons anyway, within curriculum plans and schemes of learning. So within lessons, within home learning tasks that are set, students are constantly revisiting material to ensure that they sort of don't. Uh, don't forget what they've initially learned. However, it's really important that students as well build that into their revision. So they plot out sort of in an exam timetable when they're going to revise different subjects and different topics to ensure that 
that they are constantly revisiting that information. And then the, th the final thing that's really key when thinking about revision is ensuring its retrieval. Um, I think this, these figures are really key to thinking about that. Students actually only remember 10% of what they read. And I think a lot of a lot of students often quite like reading as part of their revision, reading through their nights, highlighting them, but it's not very effective. And actually they'll only be able to remember about 10% of the information they read. Whereas if it's something that they're saying and doing, that goes up to around 90%. And what that means is that students need to ensure that their revision focuses on retrieval and not recognition. Retrieval practices, the idea of bringing information to mind, and it really helps to boost learning. So rather than just reading through notes, students instead should be trying to recall information from their long-term memory into their working memory. So looking at a question, for example, and having to recall all of the information that they can remember from, from their memory. Um, and that's often quite difficult, but actually that struggle, that challenge, is what improves memory and learning over a period of time. So it can be things like tests, quizzes, flashcards, any of those, but it's that actual idea of pulling information out of our minds, out of our memory, that really has a big impact on learning. And I thought I would just share this with you because I think this really represents that. Um, so this is based on a study that was that took place where they had two groups of students who did two types of revision uh, ahead of an assessment. And one group just did repeated reading and the other group did reading and retrieval practice. The group that did repeated reading, their revision didn't challenge them in the same way. And so they predicted that in the actual assessment, they were going to perform really well which is the, uh, the dark blue group. Um, those that did reading and retrieval practice actually performed, actually predicted that they were gonna perform less well in the final assessment because their revision had challenged them more. It had been more difficult. When it came to the actual assessment, the group that had done the reading performed much, much worse than they had predicted, but they also didn't perform as well as the group that had done retrieval practice. And that really shows that students need to ensure that retrieval practice is a key part of their revision. This is something that uh, teachers have been encouraging students to do within lesson times and within mental times. So students do sort of already know a wide range of retrieval activities that they can do, but I thought it was useful to share this with you as well. I would actually say that the, the last two are probably the most important, past papers and exam style questions or practice questions. Um, they're the ones that will really allow students to practice retrieval and also to be able to identify the gaps in their knowledge and be able to use that to inform their future revision. Um, I have gone, I will go through all of these re, uh, revision strategies with students um, over the next next few weeks and next few months so that they can use some of those ideas as part of their revision as well. And then finally, just sort of to summarise um, some of the key things to think about when revising. So before starting revising, set up a, setting up a revision space, so exam conditions, no music, no phone, know what, they're, what you're going to revise and how, so what topic you're going to be revising. It's really important to try and follow a revision timetable and I will be doing a session with year 11 students before their practice exams to look at how they can uh, how they can create a revision timetable. And then revising in those 25 minutes chunks and this is a really key way that they that students could um, could divide up that chunk and chunk of revision and I will be going through this with students as well. So looking at the idea of breaking it down into study, test and teach someone else. So you spend five minutes studying the information, then 15 to 20 minutes testing themselves, so practicing retrieval, so essay questions, exam style questions, etc. And then the final bit is actually really key, is the idea of teaching somebody else. Um, once students have completed their revision, 
are they actually in a place where they can teach that information to somebody else can they show that they've they've learned the information that they've they've been working on and um, it doesn't actually have to be somebody else it could just be trying to speak it aloud to themselves but if there is somebody that can support them in that at home that that is a really useful tool and then finally before finishing revising evaluating how confident they feel uh, on what they've learned so far and what areas that they need to work on and then making a plan of when they're going to come back to that topic or skill as part of their next revision so those are the kind of key revision tips that year 11 students should be trying to use should be trying to follow as much as possible this year um, as I say I will be running revision sessions during mental time throughout this year the first session is starting uh, the week beginning the 5th of October where I will be going to the different year 11 mental groups and going through some of the different revision strategies and things that they should be trying to trying to follow when they're completing eating revision um, I'm also available if any students need some individual support individual help with revision uh, they can just come and see me and I will help them with that but if you've got any questions about revision or any, anything in this presentation then please let me know and I will be happy to help